Wiki office in Paris together with Ludovic Dubois. Um, and uh, XWiki is supporting us again on next year, on the next year edition of the Enterprise to O Summit. Already, thank you for this. And but we, I like to discuss a little bit with you about uh, what has happened since last year. Last year, I did a, uh, an interview with your partner, Guillaume, on XWiki and also the situation on, on the application of wikis within, social, with, within the social enterprise sphere. So what has happened with XWiki so far since uh, within the last 12 months? Uh, well, a lot of things have happened. Uh, we've been very active, uh, both on the, on the sales front and implementation with, with client. And uh, we've been happy to, to work with more large clients uh, at uh, larger levels. Uh, what we see is that our technology is getting more, more and more adopted for larger implementation and larger use, uh, usage of collaboration inside companies. Uh, on the product side, uh, we, we've done a lot of work, particularly we, we launched uh, two, two very important features, uh, which are uh, App Within Minute and Extension Manager. Um, App Within Minute, in, in just um, a few words, is a, a tool to build applications, a structured data application inside the wiki. So you, you can, without any technical knowledge, uh, create a structure of data to f and, and then uh, create and share information on the structure of data. This is very powerful because it, it brings the power of XWiki to non-technical users. Um, and, and this is something that we were be being able to do a lot uh, with our development team and now our customers can do it at an even uh, lower, lower cost and lower cost of implementation. And Extension Manager is a great complement to that because it's a gallery, it's an app store of applications. And so if you build an application, you can actually share it on our app store and any other uh, uh, instance of XWiki can you can install it on ev any other instance of XWiki in uh, in in a click. So you can uh, you can install a forum, you can install a blog, you can install a, a custom application which is specific to a typical typical business, an HR application in a minute in an, in an XWiki instance. You just mentioned that uh, the. The application of XWiki is getting to a broader sense, so uh, it's more integrated, more on the collaborative uh, approach. Well, for me, the wiki concept was always limited, limited to well, the, to the retention of uh, 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 to the retention of knowledge, and yes, also to the knowledge sharing, but very much limited, not so much on the collaborative sphere, and not so much on the information exchange sphere. Um, is this changed with the, the, the wiki, uh, uh, the wiki content? Does is it changed now? Because well, not only the technologies are changing behind. Well, you are changing level a little bit. You're uh, you're opening up also at Lessian. They are also opening up. This is very much a, a trend within the wiki technology stack. So first, for, for us, it's not a change because XWiki um, means extended wiki. Uh, so it's always been a goal and an objective to go beyond the simple wiki concept. But it's important for us to keep the wiki concept at its core. And in everything we do, the wiki concept is there. So even if we're doing a blog application, even if we do a forum application, uh, which, which is indeed more, more uh, discussion oriented than it is knowledge uh, sharing and, and, and capitalization oriented, which the core wiki concept is, is more headed for, uh, to. Uh, but for example, if we do a, a project uh, application, we're still on knowledge. We're also a bit on workflow uh, and, and on the actual work on the data, but we're still on knowledge. And so for us, it's always been the goal to to manage data in a larger sense. Our objective at XWiki is to help companies organize information in general. Uh, so we're more headed towards the information itself than the discussion around the information. But still, so the wiki concept is very key in, in there for two reasons. Wiki concept brings links between information. This is uh, one of the key things we retain. It also, it also brings a very open participation. So most of the applications we do, 
uh, they're very open for people to participate. So we won't set rights, complex rights and complex workflow on the tools, even though we can do it. We won't do that in most of the cases because the objective is to have a large participation on the information that people are sharing. Um, where, and, and then there's another thing that goes with it, is that in XWiki you have full history. Uh, so even if you write and modify a blog article, you will have the history of the modification you've done on your blog article. And this is very important in the wiki concept too, because when you're opening very, large, very largely to collaboration, you want to have history as a security in case somebody does something wrong on the data. You need to get back to what was before. You need to know who has done what. And you see too many tools which are collaborative, they don't have history built into. Uh, and People come in, they open then collaboration on the tool, and people start putting data in, but you don't know who has done what. Mm -hmm. You just see the data changing, but you don't know who has done what. And so that's where the wiki concept is there in everything we do. Although we go beyond the page, the text page, which is what people believe wiki concepts are only about, but they're not. The, the concept about wiki is about collaboration and links and history. It's not about the fact that it was text. You can, do a wiki on an off, you can do a wiki concept on an office document. And actually, you see that when you look at the way we, the wiki word is used uh, all around the world, you have a lot of applications that have nothing to do with sharing text, which use the notion of wiki, uh, the notion of wiki, because the notion of wiki is about sharing, collaboration, and, 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 and about people being able to participate. That, that's the core thing. So yes, it's changing. Uh, but it's not that it wasn't planned. Like it's uh, it's it's part of it, and it's something that we we had in uh, in our objective forever. But the enterprise to all world out there, so even on the either on the corporate side or on the evangelist side, when they talk about social business and E2O, they're always talking about enterprise social networks. So they left a little bit this idea of uh, the, the the core concepts of knowledge sharing around the process. So is, is this also this movement towards opening up towards an application infrastructure to align with these uh, challenges, also with this uh, perception of the topic? I think one of the reasons that um, social software is very much talking about social networks and not uh, in, uh, more on the larger set of application that makes social software is the fact that uh, uh, first, we hear more the bigger companies, and the bigger companies, they have a particular problem which is putting people in contact. Like if you, have a, if you are an 80,000 people company, uh, you, uh, you have some, some issues about putting people in contact. And the second thing is, they already had knowledge sharing tools. Not necessarily social, but they already had. They did not have uh, social networks and discussions, so they put the focus on these new tools but they haven't worked that much on transforming the existing tools they have in making them more social. And there is some difficulties around that. Um, companies are very, very much stuck to documents. And uh, it takes a lot of time to get people out of that concept. Social networks don't really need to make it. It's something new. It's something additional. So they put this something additional. They adopt it a bit, easy, a bit more easy. But for me, the impact that... Uh, getting rid of documents or, or giving less importance to documents and transforming the way you share information towards tools like XWiki and wikis and, and, and toward tools that are more social, the impacts are much stronger, but they're also more difficult to achieve than putting in place social networks. From my point of view, in a smaller company, uh, a social network is not that useful, but what is really useful is share information. And these companies, they don't have necessarily the right tools today. So I think it's, it's a question of time. Uh, I mean, we see more and more larger customers being more interested in this solution, but it has challenges. One of the challenges is the change management that goes with it. It's like, yeah, I was sharing my documents. You know, how, how will it happen when I share with, uh, with your system? What, how will people work around it? What is the training needed? But we, we see more and more companies that realize that it is very important, but it takes more time. I see your point on the differentiation between the latter and the smaller. If, if we talk about the latter one and their approach to a more integrated approach to enterprise, so 
must isn't this uh, an uh, well a challenge also for the uh, X for the wiki solution providers to be integrative with the, the larger networks well I think it, it it's a cha challenge in general um, for integration between social networks and content tools right now the integration is very weak and it has some very bad effects uh, basically, it's very easy to start a discussion about something uh, on a social network, but the problem is that it's, it's going to kind of stay as a discussion. It will not produce something that is actually content that will be, uh, have a more larger, longer um, time span in terms of importance. Like, what is the knowledge that we got out of this discussion? Uh, is the social network the place where we'll need to find knowledge because that's where it was discussed? And actually, you realize that it's going to be very hard to find knowledge inside a social network. You will have only the search engine. You will have a lot of noise in your social network. And it's going to be difficult to extract the knowledge out of it. And right now, the integration with content tool is very weak because of a lack of standards. And uh, so we, in the open source world, we're very uh, interested in standards. And we're very favorable to standards. And there's like tons of social networks tools. And there is absolutely no standard to integrate the social network discussion inside a tool like XWiki or to integrate uh, content in, inside a social network. Every social network tool has its way to upload a file uh, and um, uh, has its little wiki, uh, which is a very simple wiki. But it doesn't really look into how to integrate with content tools, and that's a real, a, a real challenge. There is a need for that. Uh, there is no doubt there is a need for that. There is a need to connect these tools. Otherwise, there's going to be some issues in, in, the, knowledge, uh, in, in the knowledge management, in the quality of the knowledge that social networks uh, are creating. Are the project owners on the corporate side already perceiving the, the need for the integration part? I think they're mostly focused on putting people in connection, and they're not always realizing the issue that there is behind uh, behind organization of information. Um, uh, but we see it moving. We we see companies that realize that they're not going to organize knowledge inside the the social network. That they 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 need to do something else. Do they connect it? Not always. No, we don't see that that much. Uh, but. There is, a, there is a need, and the, the, the companies are understanding that they need tools to organize information. And we see, it's more like we see some companies make the switch and add uh, tools like XWiki in, in their system in addition to what they already have in terms of document sharing. Um, and some are very conservative on this. Is all, uh, a search engine is going to be enough for us uh, in terms of knowledge management, and they put a lot of the focus on these work groups and pu putting people in discussion. So in the, in the sense, I would say that it's split. Some, some companies uh, realize the importance of putting ad additional tools that manage information in a better way, in a more social way than document sharing do, do it. And in addition to the social networks, some don't at all. And uh, they should look into that. But with the ongoing economic crisis, there's a well, there, 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 there's a call out for more performance also within the company and knowledge sharing around processes would provide this approach to well, be, be more performant. Uh, why isn't this being seen as a, as a solution to, because if we just do collaboration, just to connect people, it's not, we are very far away. Sometimes we're, we are very far away from the processes. So going the wiki way, it's more on the process, it's more uh, uh, supporting uh, the value generation. So, Yeah, we, we, we in the business, we all know that there is a lot of value into collaboration tools and in, in, into knowledge sharing. The issue is that it's always been the issue of our, of our business is that it's very hard to measure. It's very hard to measure what uh, ac the tool has actually brought uh, to the pr productivity of the company. We clearly see uh, when we see a young company uh, with very modern tools, uh, uh, we realize that it's very flexible, very agile, able to go into other countries very easily, uh, that, that its productivity is very high. Uh, but um, uh, it's very hard to measure on a, on a standard company, like on a, an existing company, and when it's moving, um, it's making changes, it's hard to actually measure the, the impacts of the technology. 
Um, so that's why we, what we do to try to, to work on that is we try to find particular projects which will show a huge amount of value, uh, like information that is not shared at all. And we structure the information around that information and we, we unlock that information and we make people more valuable. There's some areas, for example, that are more efficient than others. Uh, we have some implementation with sales uh, knowledge bases and uh, these are hugely valuable because they're close to the business, they're close to making the sale, and, uh, and, and the, the people can have feedback saying, look, this tool has helped us make some, some more sales. Uh, but it's always been very hard to, to measure and it's a difficulty of the, uh, of the business in general. But we all know uh, that, uh, that uh, there is a very uh, high productivity gains in, in, in these tools. And, uh, the earlier people uh, start, the, the more of these gains they will get. So, I mean, what the counseling we can give to, uh, to companies is to, uh, is to go fast uh, and to go fast and, and implement and put more tools in place because that's really needed. We see uh, that there is a need for plenty of knowledge databases. There is plenty of information that is still shared uh, by people talking and by email and this information needs to be organized to be more accessible to so that the next guy coming in uh, in the business is going to find it and there's so you can actually measure productivity loss because you don't have it it's more complex to measure the gain itself uh, so it's it's always an issue great thank you for the interview Welcome.